everybody, and welcome, welcome to Little Masters Club News. The guest program had Mooncake Production charity sale along with the Microsoft fundraising activities this year. This money will be used to fund poor students in China. On the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival, the Little Masters Club held the fifth Mooncake Production and charity sale. The venue was provided by friends who volunteered to open their own house. Many mothers and volunteers were willing to help the children to complete the job. All the cakes were sold out. The club also organized the children to participate in the three-week Microsoft fundraising event, nearly issued a thousand flyers, and received strong support from the Microsoft employees, receiving a total of 2,176.29 in cash. 200 pesos and 5.25 Canadian dollars. The GEST group of the club continued to cooperate with the China Education Foundation of Tomorrow to support the poor children in Gansu, Shanxi, Shangxi, and Sichuan in China to continue their studies. Children and parents did their best to make people pay more attention to the poor children and pass on their love to the other side of the ocean. Thanks for the support. During the summer, Little Masters Club held a series of manual classes taught by teenage artists. Among them, the classes of clay, dolls, and wax tablets were very popular. These exquisite wax tablets and clay dolls are all made by the children in the manual class. Now, the teacher of the wax tablets was the sixth grader, Esther Fang. She taught how to heat and melt the wax block, and then add the incense liquid, and after that, put it in the mold. Finally, put some dried flowers and other decorations for artistic embellishment. After the wax tablet was completely solidified, the finished product could be taken out. Like flowers floating on a bed of white jade, the children were full of pride in their work. The little teacher of the clay dolls class was the 8th grader clay artist Anthony Wu. He has been very talented in art since he was a child, and especially in making clay art. Now due to the number of children enrolled, he had 4 classes this summer alone. In the class, Anthony and his assistant Cindy patiently and meticulously directed the children to make the choice of clay shaping in an orderly way, both to demonstrate and to take care of each child's progress, and he encouraged that no one starts perfect and you have to keep trying to perfect your art, and when you fall, you have to get up and continue walking. Now finally, the finished products were taken out of the oven. Little artists, thank you for all you've done. From July 14th to July 29, Little Masters Club successfully held their fourth annual Shenxi Educational Support Program. Twenty Little Master Club volunteers from America and China traveled to Shanxi, China, under the leadership of Hong Kong Wang, to help support rural kids in China by teaching them English. Before arriving in China, the volunteers held many meetings discussing the teaching content and preparing the details of the event. During the two weeks of Shanxi, every week contained four English class periods, supplemented by two exterior classes such as art, sports, dance, chemistry, and singing. During this camp, not only did the volunteers enjoy building positive relationships with the local students, but also accumulated many joyful memories by visiting the local landmarks and learning Chinese calligraphy and Hu. During the final performance at the end of the camp, students from all grades expressed their talent and fluency in English, showing the tremendous amount that they learned in these 10 days. This program not only left behind beautiful memories in the minds of the volunteers, but also brought joys to the local kids who received an approval from local teachers. On November 24th, Little Masters Club STEM group held a presentation on the SAT and ACT, which was well received and popular. The presenter was 11th grader Abby Lee of Bellevue High School. She has had excellent academic performance and is willing to share her study and preparation experience with other high school students. At the presentation, 
the room was entirely filled. Abby gave a detailed and vivid explanation of the test composition of the SAT and ACT exams, the answering techniques, the comparison of the two, and the reference scores of the different universities. The students and parents concentrated on listening, and after the presentation, there are still many students asking questions for Abby. Guo Yangchun, the head of the STEM group, told reporters that this event was to share experiences and benefit the community, and that they will carry out similar activities in the future. On September 23rd, Little Masters Club successfully held their fourth annual bikeathon at Mary Moore Park. Before the event, the kid volunteers carried out business, fundraising in Bellevue, and some mammoths for the club, while improving financial intelligence. On the sunny event day, over 200 kids delightfully participated wearing the club t-shirts. The bikeathon was split into four groups to meet the needs of different ages. Suggested by the environment group, everyone had to bring their own water bottles and classify the garage more carefully, reducing waste significantly. More than 70 volunteers participated in preparing and helping at the event, most of which were children. In November, the event group held a special summary meeting, looking forward to next year's bikeathon. On November 16th and 17th, Little Masters Children's Choir had their first performance with Lyric Opera Northwest. It was amazing and received loads of applause. Presented in the Bellevue Maiden Ball Theater, the LMC Choir performed in the Act 2 of the opera La Boheme, where the characters are eating at Café Mamouse. The kids played as the crowd in the background and the bustling activity of the court in Leighton becoming the centerpiece when Parpignol, the toy seller, came onto the stage. The LMC choir practiced for more than two months before the show, and their parents and volunteers also worked hard together to prepare for the performance. The director, Mrs. Pamela, had said, The Chinese community is exceptionally studious and diligent, and I appreciate that. Established in 2017, the LMC Choir is a young group of 36 kids passionate about sharpening their vocal skills. Instructed and directed by former opera singer Pamela Casella, the choir has successfully delivered several performances in the past one and a half years. We look forward to seeing more shows with the Little Masters on stage. Keep up your hard work! From July 30th to August 10th, Little Masters Club volunteers hosted an American-style summer camp in Changhe Elementary School in Dingzhuozhen, China. In this 12 days, 19 students and 6 team leaders of Little Masters Club were led by Mr. Han. The American Kid teachers have prepared a variety of teaching content, bringing world arts, science experiments, American frisbee, rugby, drama, music, American festivals, and crafts ceramics and production courses to the local children. They taught the children by playing certain games. The teachers not only help the students learn skills, knowledge, un unity, and cooperation, but also form deep bonds with the local students through a fun process. Through the platform built by the organizers and parents of the Little Masters Club, the children not only self-directed and improved themselves, but also became an ambassador for the culture. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.